there is one room schoolhouse, an African American schoolhouse, and uh, it was built uh, sometime between 1888 and 1900. Uh, William Sturgis, he was uh, a black man. He wasn't, I don't think he was educated, but he wanted to see the people in his uh, community educated. So um, in 1888, he purchased land for $25 for this uh, school to be built. Uh, in those days, um, there was certain rules for being a teacher. When a white school would get new books, the African American schools would get their books. So it was kind of a hand-me-down thing. Blacks were in one room schoolhouses scattered around the country. And um, a lot of, um, before 1912, um, if you went to school, like to a high school blacks, they had to go, I think, to Snow Hill. It from here? Uh-huh, and it happened for a long time. How did they get there? Uh, That's a troll. <laughs> yeah, maybe they had to be driven there. That's why a lot of blacks in this area, around that time, like my great great aunt, she didn't go to high school because it was too far off for her to go. Are you from here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once again, we're back in Pocomoke, and we just got off the Bay Queen. That just gave us a little up and back on the Pocomoke River. It was a great tour, got to see some bald eagles, got to learn a little bit about the river, see some of the industry. Afterwards, we went down to the Blackwater Cafe, which is just two blocks down. Uh, grabbed some delicious homemade oatmeal raisin cookies and some iced tea. And after that, we stopped by the Sturgis uh, one room schoolhouse museum and got a nice little tour of that. That, that was real cool. Spent about 45 minutes there. Good tie-in to Charles Albert Tinley and that history in Berlin and Germantown and eventually him coming to be a great preacher. So yeah, it's a great day for it too. It's not too hot, it's not too humid. Couldn't ask for more.